A new 119-unit housing project in Orchid was approved earlier this week by the Santa Barbara County Board of Supervisors. KSBY News supporter Kimberly Cruz has more on the mixed reaction to this project. County Board of Supervisors voted 3-2 to approve this housing project in Orchid, but there was a lot of mixed responses, including from residents in nearby neighborhoods. The housing project called Key Site 3 would be located north of Clark Avenue and Highway 101. Sunny Hills, a mobile home park, would be one of the nearby neighborhoods. Uh, we are a senior community, so we are worried about, you know, safety and ambulance getting to our seniors and, and easy access. This is just one of the concerns brought up by community members at last Tuesday's meeting. Other issues included the density of homes and traffic that would be created on Clark Avenue. Santa Barbara County 4th District Supervisor Bob Nelson is one of the supervisors who voted against the project. And, you know, that's just another example of us in the county not um, doing what we say we want to do. We want to uh, reduce vehicle miles traveled and, and reduce greenhouse gases, but to do that, you can't continue to build the houses up in the North County and keep all the jobs in the South County. Nelson says he is in favor of creating more housing, but does not think the current location is in line with the community's needs. He says the construction of these homes would be an isolated area with no access to a main corridor. It, Orchid deserves the right to uh, have it uh, be self-sufficient and have a community where people not only live here or sleep here, but they also live here. On the other hand, some county officials and residents say this project could help the housing crisis in Santa Barbara County. Uh, it's to provide a variety of housing types that'll be more affordable to sort of entry level uh, buyers, as well as to preserve open space. I'm representing 118 future families that need a home. The homes are expected to cost in the 600,000 to 700,000 range based on the current housing market. Now there's still several steps for the builder to take, but a project like this can take half a year up to five years for construction to begin. For now reporting in Orchid, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. In addition to the 119 units, there are 160 townhome units in the middle of the site, but there are no details about that project yet.